So the main thing I'm doing here is just making sure the dude doesn't eat the lilies right up against this area. Um, some of the tortoises sometimes have had grabbed some of the lower parts of the lilies. So we'll just make sure he goes ahead and wanders off, which he seems to be doing. Uh, I'm not sure if that's Gerald or another one. It looks like a different one, but I'm still learning how to identify the tortoises, not really used to them, or at least that type. So we got a lot of stuff going on out here. Not so good. Uh, we got a storm that's been coming in, and so it's been holding off planting because it didn't want to go and have this type of issue, but we've got a cold front coming in, and so I've been holding off on planting and getting things going. Uh, last night was the first night of the storm, and so we had one little incident. I'll go ahead and put the camera around. So we've been dealing with a lot of you know stuff from winter, and we lost this palm tree possibly seems like all together. Um, some of the palm trees through the winter got hit pretty hard. Um, one of the annoying things with this winter was that, you know, the cold front that we got this year was one of the worst in about 10 years, I think they were saying. And this is my first time in Florida in zone nine. And so I wasn't sure what to expect with winter in general and then you know, record breaking cold. So it fried a lot of my plants. Um, a lot of them are recovering still and that's why I haven't been showing them on camera as I wanted to wait until they got better. But there's just not much that can be done with everything because we got another cold front coming through. So I can't show you guys any new content. Uh, there's nothing really I can do with that one. It's really frustrating to me. I hate this. I don't want to show this type of stuff, but you know, this is probably going to make for some good content for you guys and um, be a reference for me to look back on what I learned this winter and stuff. So we got first day, this is day one. This is going to be like a three day storm that's coming through. And day three is when we're going to be dropping down into right now, the weather's saying about 30, um, but it's gone anywhere from 29 degrees up to 32 to 33 at the absolute most. And that's what we're expecting on about Saturday night. And so that's the concerning part to me, especially with just having put all the corn and tomatoes and things like that into the ground. We aren't supposed to get cold this late into the year. This is supposed to be a freak incident. And of course it happens my very first year in Florida, getting into farming for the very first time. Oh, I hate my life, man. <laughs> Seriously, like, have you ever thought about how, with millennials, like, we've been through so much shit between Columbine, 9-11, uh, 2008 crisis, now 2020, and World War III at this point. And on top of that, it's like the worst cold in Florida that we've had. This is just... Oh man, we the survivor generation, I swear. All right, we'll check back in a few days. We're, we're gonna get through this, we will, somehow. All right, there it is. Rain is here. So again, this is day one of the three days of storm ending in a massive cold front that might kill quite a bit of my plants. So we'll see how this goes. I will tune in with you guys again as things develop probably throughout the next couple of days i'm not quite sure if i'll have anything crazy happen tonight because it's just the beginning i'm supposed to be getting a lot worse through the week we'll see what happens stay tuned this out and I'll check back with you guys probably tomorrow and see what the damage is like. So the storm is gone and oh 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 Did you see? I don't know if I caught that oh I don't know which I, I just barely caught the tail probably Costca because she's pretty big oh, 
but either Costco or Guts flying through the red tail hawks we got on the property. But anyways, so as you can see, I got some of the trees wrapped last night. Um, it got really cold. Uh, it's about 39 degrees right now, uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. So clearly it got pretty cold out here. And so I wrapped a few of the new trees that we had just to make sure that they were good. I couldn't find any frost cloths this late in the year and didn't have that many because didn't know to expect this type of weather with these types of plants. Um, like I said, first time in zone nine. So I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap these. I've got one of the Moringa I didn't wrap and one of the Moringa I did wrap. Those are the only ones that are the exact same for me to see a difference between if I really needed to wrap them tonight or not. Because some of these plants, the way they're looking, I'm not sure if I even needed to wrap everything. I don't think we got cold enough last night to really need it, but I'll find out as we go through and start pulling stuff off. So I'm gonna go do that, pull things off. Just got the kumquat and the agami kumquat and the moringa unwrapped and the moringa i mean yeah she's a little bent up because of how she was wrapped up but other than that she don't look too bad um, let's take a look at the one that was left unwrapped because this is what's really going to kind of give us an idea on if we needed to wrap them or not and honestly i mean as far as the moringa go this one doesn't look like it needed jack shit, honestly. At least for last night. We only got down, we were supposed to possibly drop down to about 30, 29, or even 28. And we didn't. Um, it looks like we dropped down to about 32 for an hour, and that was the lowest we got. Um, I got up pretty early. I was keeping an eye on the temperature to get an idea. And so it looked like it dropped down to about 31, 32, around 8 o'clock, 7 to 8 o'clock, and that was the coldest it got. Everything else is looking really pretty good. Persian lime right here. Did I even get it on camera? Persian lime right here. Ponderosa lemon right here, all doing fine. Um, I got the pink lemon right here that's wrapped up. The grapefruit and the blood orange. I still gotta unwrap. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, unwrap those. We did have some other sh stuff come through. As you can see, you know, like big branch, this storm was mostly just some wind in some spots. Uh, you know, we had tornadoes out in Ocala, which is about an hour from me, tornado warning in the county down south of me. No tornadoes at my place though. Um, we just got a good amount of wind and a uh, lot of, oh, this was one of the casualties. We got a good amount of rain. Um, it washed out quite a bit down in this bed because it does have a bit of a slope down here so I'm looking at that hoping that as things grow in and I get it mulched over that issue will go away but I may need to end up installing some type of swales or grasses that will help stop that flow of water being so intense when it does get heavier rain um, fortunately I've got this banana in here that'll start working on helping with that but this one got beat up pretty bad because of the wind so I had to trim off a lot of the leaves on it um, and then the other thing that really just didn't go well, I'm gonna flip the camera around here. So the palm trees are a bit of a disaster right now. I mean, they have been anyways because of what's going on with the ISO. Well, you guys are super blown out and it's on auto. So, okay, well, we're just gonna have to deal with that right now. But the palm trees got blown over pretty heavy. Um, quite a few of them because of the cold damage they received over the winter, I'd had to pull the, the core out of them. Um, it had rotted out and supposedly they may still come back. I'm gonna give them a month or two to see if they do. If not, then we're gonna have to replace them all. There's about, there's seven queen palms in here. Almost all of them have been completely blown over from this storm. The birds of paradise are starting to bounce back and the lilies that I planted, um, Seem to all be doing pretty good. So everything else is doing okay. It's really the palm trees. 
but I mean, got olives are doing pretty good. They were really small, and so I was a little worried that they might get hit pretty hard. Right down here, flip it around. So these are Arbequina olives. Get out of the casting a shadow. So really little guys. I mean, there's my hand. You can see how tiny they are. But I got one here in the front yard, and one down there to other side. So we got two that'll grow up and fill in. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap the rest of the trees. This is a learning process with the whole winter stuff. I did lose quite a bit of plants over the winter. Um, I mean, it feels like a lot. Really, in all actuality, it's a lot less than I was thinking it was because things have started to come back and so I'm gonna keep waiting and see what all does come back. Like I said, this is all new. It's very frustrating making this type of video and seeing a lot of these things die and feeling like I just kind of suck at it, learning how to do this all in a new zone and a lot of new plants that I've never seen before. But one of the fun things about this that I absolutely love is that this whole thing is like my own little outdoor science lab. I mean, that's the whole point of it. You make some failures and you experiment and you learn from it, and then you move on. And it's just so much fun doing that. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a long one. The storm ended up being kind of a bust, but it was a good chance to talk about the cold issues that I had during the winter. And hopefully next year we have a lot less of them. This was a record-breaking uh, winter, from what I understood. They were talking about it was like the worst winter in about 10, anywhere from four to 10 years, depending on who I asked. And it was my first year in Florida and my first year trying to be a farmer. I'm definitely glad it's moving more towards spring. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, Molnar out, catch you next time. So you guys, these, these are jackfruit. So these are from seeds that I got. And I put seven seeds in this pot, just to throw them in there and see what would happen. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of them have popped up. Uh, there should be a seventh one around here somewhere. Hopefully it'll come up. Um, but we'll see. Once they get a little bit bigger, I'll go ahead and take these out and throw them in to the wood line back in there.